In this video, we'll take you on a wild ride inside the world's largest aircraft carrier in the middle of the ocean, the USS Gerald R. Ford, commissioned in 2017 by the United States Navy. Come with us as we explore this incredible feat of engineering and the brave sailors who call it home. So let's weigh anchor and set sail. Welcome to Elite Originals. The USS Gerald R. Ford, a floating city. Picture a massive ship that measures over 1,100 feet in length and 134 feet in width. It can carry up to 75 aircraft and almost 5,000 crew members, including pilots and support staff. That's like having a floating city on the ocean, and it's simply mind-boggling. But what's even more impressive is the advanced technology aboard this vessel that makes it faster and more efficient than traditional steam catapults, which is just insane. The flight deck is over four acres in size and is capable of launching and recovering aircraft simultaneously. It's like having your own private airport, but better. Plus, the ship has all the amenities you could ever want. A gym, library, chapel, and even a post office. But one thing's for sure, no matter how many facilities, living on a ship in the middle of the ocean for months at a time is not easy. The constant vibration from the engines can drive anyone nuts. But the sailors on board are some of the bravest and most dedicated people you'll ever meet. They're committed to their mission, whether it's launching fighter jets or providing humanitarian aid. Let's check it out in further detail. Advanced Technology on Board The USS Gerald R. Ford is equipped with not one, but two nuclear reactors that provide a virtually unlimited supply of energy, and that's just the beginning. There's no worrying about running out of gas because these babies can keep the engines running for as long as they need to. And let's not forget about the EMALS program. This thing uses magnets to launch planes off the deck like they're freaking rockets. With this electromagnetic aircraft launch system, the planes can launch more quickly and efficiently than the old steam catapults. It's like upgrading from a horse-drawn carriage to a Ferrari. This structure is massive, at over four acres of flight deck space and as big as a football field and a half strapped to the top of a ship. This gives the ship the ability to carry a lot of planes, helicopters, and drones all at the same time. And speaking of planes, the USS Gerald R. Ford can carry up to 75 of them, including the FA-18EF Super Hornet, the E-2D Hawkeye, and the EA-18G Growler. And let's not forget about the ship's capabilities. With its advanced radar and combat systems, the USS Gerald R. Ford can track and engage multiple threats simultaneously, making it a force to be reckoned with on the high seas. But the flight deck isn't just for launching planes, it's also a hub of activity for the crew. From conducting drills and exercises to carrying out maintenance and repairs, the flight deck is always buzzing with activity. It's like a mini city, complete with all the equipment, personnel, and supplies needed to keep the planes and the ship running smoothly. Life on board the USS Gerald R. Ford First off, let's talk about the crew. The USS Gerald R. Ford has a crew of over 4,500 people, including sailors, officers, and other personnel. That's a lot of people living and working in close quarters for months at a time. But despite the tight living conditions, the crew is a tight-knit community relying on each other for support and camaraderie. But life on board isn't all smooth sailing. The ship can be at sea for months at a time, which means the crew members miss their families and loved ones. It can be a lonely and isolating experience. And of course, there's always the danger of being on the front lines of a military conflict. The Dangers Let's face it, life at sea can be tough. There are so many dangers. Storms, rough seas, and potential threats from other ships mean that those on board always have to be on their toes. Also imagine having to deal with the constant noise and vibration of the engines, not to mention the danger of accidents or attacks. If you've ever been on a roller coaster with no escape, it's pretty similar to that. The Activities These sailors take it all in stride, finding ways to keep themselves entertained and their spirits high. Whether it's playing cards, shooting pool, or just shooting the breeze, they know how to make the most of their time at sea. It also helps that many facilities and amenities are available on board to keep the sailors and soldiers happy and occupied. When it's time to relax, they can head to the ship's library or movie theater to unwind. These spaces offer a chance to escape from the stresses of ship life and catch up on some me time. And for all those fitness freaks, there's a well-equipped gym on board too. 
The amenities. The USS Gerald R. Ford has everything the crew needs, from sleeping quarters to mess halls to recreational facilities. The sleeping quarters are called berths and can accommodate up to four people. And don't worry, the ship has plenty of entertainment options to keep the crew occupied during their downtime. There are gyms, movie theaters, and even a chapel for those who want to worship. And how can we forget good food? The USS Gerald R. Ford has multiple galleys that serve up a variety of meals throughout the day. Whether you're in the mood for a hearty breakfast, a satisfying lunch, or a delicious dinner, there's always something to tempt your taste buds. And if you have special dietary requirements, the ship's chefs are happy to accommodate. More importantly, a fully equipped medical center staffed by trained medical personnel is available for everyone on board. From minor ailments to more serious injuries, the medical team is always available to take care of any problems that might arise. The Heroes Despite these challenges, the sailors on board are some of the most dedicated and bravest individuals you'll ever meet. They take pride in their service and are committed to their mission, whether it's launching fighter jets or providing humanitarian aid. They prefer a life of service, putting their country and other crew members first. They're truly the real heroes of the high seas. The mission of the USS Gerald R. Ford. Now, you must be wondering what's even the purpose of having such a ship. Well, this mega ship serves as a mobile airfield, ready to launch and recover all sorts of aircraft. From fighter jets to helicopters to unmanned drones, this ship can handle it all. And let's talk about the ship's runway, or should we say runways? The USS Gerald R. Ford has not one, but two runways on its flight deck. That's over 1,000 feet of space for planes to take off and land. Imagine watching a fighter jet take off from the deck of a ship in the middle of the ocean. Now that's some serious Top Gun vibes. With its impressive size and capacity, the USS Gerald R. Ford can carry up to 75 aircraft at any given time. And with its ability to transport troops and equipment, this ship is a powerhouse in military operations. But the USS Gerald R. Ford is not just about combat missions, it can also be used for humanitarian purposes. In fact, the ship played a crucial role in relief efforts following Hurricane Maria in 2017. The ship was loaded up with food, water, and medical supplies and sent to the affected areas to provide aid and support. It goes without saying, the USS Gerald R. Ford is a total beast of a ship, serving an essential role as a mobile airfield. Whether it's supporting ground troops in combat, transporting equipment, or providing aid during a crisis, this ship is ready for action. And with that, we've come to the end of our voyage through the crazy life inside the world's largest $13 billion aircraft carrier in the middle of the ocean. We've seen the massive size, the amazing capabilities, and the brave crew that make all of it possible. The USS Gerald R. Ford is not just a marvel of engineering and technology, but it's also a symbol of the United States' commitment to maintaining a strong and capable military presence around the world. And let's be honest, it's also pretty darn cool. Let us know in the comments below which feature you were impressed by the most, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. See you in the next video!